Hello everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange. Now we're going to be taking a direction for the left off last time, so we are turning that line off. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Wait, she just had that underneath her clothes? Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Baby Halloween pumpkin. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if 
my head. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? I mean, that's true. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Yeah, Warren is nice. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. We just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Oh, shit. Wait, is this Sandy? If it's Sandy, I'll be in here. supposed to be hiding or running. Move, Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Shit. Hey! Fuck. Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick.
trying to figure out where We are so invisible. Let's bail. Oh, okay, I was gonna say it's probably too early to celebrate on that one. <clears throat> Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! Oh, this is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. I mean, it's a good place. Into the see. car! Get in! sounds like. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Julie knows a party I don't think I'll be washing today. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually fine, but I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Supplies are in this in the evening. By the morning, then. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. 
coffee and the paper have their own conversation. With the sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. See, they're gonna wind up together. We're gonna go for the kiss. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. I mean, he's a guy, it's a problem. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max? A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. <sighs> Like when we were kids here. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Who oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. The actual I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... <sighs> Bacon. How can you give up bacon? Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. 
I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? I think so. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Uh, you were fixing to have dinner or breakfast with Ste Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Just waiting for him to come in. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. Oh, that looks so and this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does.
I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. One of these drawer searches is gonna give something. I just know it. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Try again. Nothing to see here. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty milk. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nothing in it. Maybe this ID number might work. We're gonna keep I could try the license number for the password. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? See, I'm seriously thinking there's more to him than what beats the eye. Magic 8-Ball says no. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car.
That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. back here. This first one says Rachel Amber was picked up at 2.35 p.m. Black Academy in possession of a controlled substance. This is reported by David Batson, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in question, Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various legal pharmaceuticals. Okay, so she follows the same path to every class. I've heard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Club party drugs. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students' drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> Kate was kept to herself since Vortex Club party, not even church. <laughs> Drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party, she got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max on Elise's bad bags, Max Factor, and Noir Angel. The class schedule. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, I'm gonna side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. 
everybody at Black Hole is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's yes, my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode right here. And I will be right back with you. So thank you guys for watching so much. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!